Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna work on the kitchen and let's select our three pieces here, click isolate and let's keep going. So in a way I already have an idea about the shape of the kitchen. So I'm going to select this nice box, move it as a cap, select one of these boxes, rotate it. So 90 degrees, place it here, click on edit poly, select these move it all the way here and I will just put this on the side connect so I think five yeah five should be fine I will click on one to select all of these and move it let's say five centimeters below or six for now we could actually do more and make another copy of this box because we want something on top of our uh, kitchen counter here and if we set the height of this box to 370 it should be perfect because if you remember from the last tutorial we had 376 here is three centimeters here is three centimeters and here is 370 so this looks that we may need to take it down a little bit more so i move it another four centimeters this time and i will select this face, first of all, let's select it and move it here so it's not overlapping on the top counter and then push it to the side here. So now they're perfectly aligned. Maybe here it's too much. Let's make it up by three centimeters and let's do the same on the floor. So I'm going to select, make it up by five. Looks okay for now. And let's do the same for this side. But before we do, I'm going to select one of these faces. Actually, let's just keep it simple. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select these rings of the mesh here and do connect. Just one though. Then do chamfer. Increase the chamfer. And I can change the chamfer type to something like triangle. So it would remove this from the middle for me. And let's say 30.3 or 4. Nice. Press 4, select the objects that we want to keep. Press Ctrl I to invert selection and delete. Select all borders and click on cap. Let's select this part here. Let's move this, make a copy or an instance that is the same. Actually, let's make an instance just in case. So press shift and move and select instance instead of copy. And I press alt A and I will set it on this object here for quick align. But I don't think I want that because I want this exactly here. So it's okay. Then move this here and let's see what we got. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good start for a nice kitchen. Now let's go to the top view and select the 2D plan, press on our mesh here, press Alt X to make it transparent. And let's add an edit poly modifier, press Shift S and let's add some details. So I'm going to move this all the way here and move it up like two centimeters. And for the bassine, select both of these parts, press B to bridge. That's also my own shortcut. And if you don't know how to bridge, if you have a box like this, so I'm converting this to edit poly. When you select this face and this face, you can click on bridge and it will uh, do this, which is so cool. The shortcut I use is fast bridge from rapid tools. I have that set to B. It will make that for me as well, which is very nice. I will make placeholder for the electric oven here like 64 by 64 and height of let's say 1.5 we're good i'm going to make another placeholder for the passing so let's move it here so i'm gonna put it in the exact middle of my mesh here and move it also here so it's also like almost 64 these uh loop cuts we did which is so cool and let's just make sure that they are perfectly aligned very nice and moving this 
here, select this face and this face, click on inset. I think I'm making mistakes, but that's okay, it's part of the process. First, I want this face and press this, select this face, click on invert. Never model anything without looking at the reference first. So here we can see we have more than two centimeters and they are around the same in terms of alignment. So that's cool. And yeah, so let's do this. I made some mistakes. It's okay. It's part of the process. If you're not making mistakes, you're not trying enough. So I'm going to make a plane instead. And before we do that, actually, let's just fix this part here. So we said maybe it's too close to the edge. So we can select all of these and we can move them like three centimeters, like so. And let's try this. So I'm going to create plane, snap from here to here, remove the segments, convert this to edit poly and inset like so and move this so, I guess. Maybe scale it down a little and we're gonna figure it out. But so far, so good. As I'm looking at this, let's quickly make anything that is cylindrical like this. So it would represent the faucet. So I will go to geometry, cylinder. I will make a cylinder. That's a very big cylinder, so let's make it smaller. I'll move it midpoint to midpoint. So radius, we can set this to 1.5 or 1.2. The height, 6, 8, looking good. I'm just eyeballing this from the image on the left, on my right. So you have an idea about what I'm doing. I select this and move it a little down because I think it could go down a little bit. And for this, let's make it 1.4, let's make it 7, maybe. I would reference again the website dimensions.com if I want the exact dimensions of this faucet. And guys, are you interested in depth modeling tutorials? Like your boy Arimos, I love that guy. Would you be interested in modeling tutorials? If yes, why don't you let me know in the comments? So I will add a bend modifier, change the angle to 120, 145. We need to limit that effect direction as well. We want 90 degree. So if you look at the reference, it's straight and then there is this and then it's straight again. And the best way to achieve that is to mess with the settings. I'm thinking what happens if we scale down the gizmo or move it around or the center. Yeah, I think bend is not the best option. I would easily create this with a spline object. So move this, put it here and let's say it moves so and like this, we can select this part and we can do fillet. Press Alt to control the setting more. Without Alt, as you can see, like, boom, hard to control. So Alt will make you, will give you better control. And we can either go to rendering and enable in viewport, or we can add a sweep modifier and select a profile we like. In this case, it can be a tube. Hey, look at that. Not this tube though, pipe. I'm going to enable the uh, in-render, like so. And I will delete this. I will uh, press on this mesh, press Alt-A, click here. And I want on the X axis, center to center. I know this is not the best for set, so just block out. Let's make a copy of this, make it a little smaller. Add an edit poly modifier on top of this. Actually, wait, let's just make it unique first. Convert it to edit poly. We can change these, move this here, and then select this, make it slightly in the middle, somewhere here, I guess. And we can do chamfer first, like this. So make it like 0 0.09. And then we can select this and we can do extrude, or we can now. Uh, just uh, scale it down. But let's just do extrude. With extrude, you can set 
Ah, there is no need to set chamfer, but yeah, you get the idea. Well, chamfer is good once we add the uh, turbo smooth, if needed, on some of our meshes. And let's just make move this all the way. There you go. And we can add, let's make a duplicate of this mesh. Copy. And let's make the radius very small, like this. And the height even smaller. And move it here. Make it little. There you go. This could use some thickness. So in the 1.5 or 1.8 is nice. I will press Shift C to convert this to edit poly. And I will add the same effect here with the extrude modifier. I think it's cool. I will isolate my selection. And let's add one final cylinder. And let's align it. On X, Y, and Z, center to center. And let's move it and put it somewhere here. Something to just keep your attention to when we do extrusions like this, it's so important that we reset the X form of our mesh. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I am going to disable the offset mode, and you're gonna see that the transformation of my mesh like 82 82 342 this will also be the same in a way in unreal engine and that's not good so what i do recommend is doing reset x form reset selected and now it's 100 100 and 100 and you can see that yeah this is what we want and that's so important if you don't want to do reset x form and instead of doing scale from the Outside of object mode, I'm gonna call it, you can go to the element or polygon mode, select whatever you want to scale up and down and do that directly within the object. That's very important, guys. Really important. So there is this part left. Let's make it a little empty for the pass in here. So I'm gonna add these. All right, now we added our swift loops. We can simply click on extrude and extrude this stuff in or just delete it if you like. So actually deleting, yeah, delete it. Actually, ah, I'm confused. <laughs> Let's just extrude it down. Okay. So this should be more than enough for a kitchen block out. I will look for more references for the faucet. This is not the best faucet because I just eyeballed it from here. So I'll get a better reference it's actually not bad as a block out okay all right so let's stop the lesson here what is left is doing the same for the rest of the house so we have details to add here in this room as well and in the master bedroom simple modeling stuff i hope you found this lesson useful leave a like if you did subscribe if you're not already i will see you guys in the next one take care